five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Dirty Glass Podcast. We're sitting here in the basement on Oak Avenue in the Dirty Glass Studio. We're going to drink, we're going to laugh, we're going to learn. Down at the end, looking very flannel. Denny, the mixologist, coming a little towards me with the hip-hop vibe. Angela Nicole Catherine Hanlon for shizzle, my nizzle, and the bizzle. My name is Nick. This is the Dirty Glass Podcast, and this is going to be a good one. Week two, episode two, but before we get into all that, Gabby, Joel, Denny, what do we do here at the Dirty Glass Podcast? We read adult beverages between zero and five dirty glasses, zero being garbage and five being awesome all. Awesome all! Awesome all! Awesome all! And... Um, before we get started, like, share, subscribe, give us your comments. Thank you all for watching. Uh, so today is a continuation of Jumpin' Gin Month, Jumpin' Gin jump in Spring into the Time. Gin Barrel Month. Yeah. So you drink too many of those, you look like Bruce real quick. Ah, I look gin drunk. <laughs> Punch drunk. Um, and today's drink is... The Tom Collins. Classic Tom Collins. Classic. Tom fucking Collins, my favorite actor of all time. Tommy Collins. He was great in Titanic. Do you remember Tom Collins in Titanic? Yeah, totally. Am I, am I messing everybody he was up? Talking, he was the... talking about you. So we're doing Tom Collins. And, um, I have to go get something. Can we pause? As, I fucked up. What'd you miss? It's shakers. It's shakers. I didn't realize this. I thought it was in shakers. I gotta shake it up. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Well, shakers. talk amongst yourselves. As. So do you know that, um, do you know, first of all, that Dr. Seuss is not his real name? Dr. Dr. Seuss, the guy that wrote the children's yeah, books? Yeah, like Green Eggs and Ham. Yeah, it's something else. But how do you mm-hmm. think, like, do you know that Jin had something to do with his, his moniker of Dr. Seuss? I did not. Did he like Jin a lot? Yeah, so much so that he got kicked out of, uh, he got caught drinking Jin in university and was no longer allowed to write for the humorous magazine so he, he drank too much jam yeah huh. so then he would start so what he started to do is contribute under dr zeus which was his middle name Doc, oh his middle name is yeah zeus, zeus i think zeus. yeah zeus zeus I yeah zeus. probably and zeus is a god yeah well zeus is the guy that made the green, it's eggs, green eggs and ham yeah Anyway, I was, was just giving a little factoid lighting? while Denny was away. That's it's a good, good factoid. Point. Did you know that, Denny? Oh, you missed it all. Yeah. Okay, so we ready to roll? So we're doing a Tom Collins, and this is again shake and nuts to Denny. I know there's multiple ingredients. What are yep. the ingredients before you get going? Oh, there's uh, gin, lemon juice, simple syrup, uh, sparkling water, uh, and then a bunch of garnishes. Do you shake it with the sparkling water in it? No, top with soda water. Well, so you shake all that stuff and then you add soda water on That's ice? Correct. That is correct, sir. All right. Is it on ice? I don't think it's on ice, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. I hope I'm not wrong. I might be wrong. You're well, probably I'm, right. I'm cool with it on I'm ice. I'm cool with on ice anyway. Um, so you do you. So if no I'm cute. wrong, someone can correct us in the comments. In yes. the comments. Let us know in the comments. Please let us know in the comments. I'm sure, like, every single drink has nine different versions, so... Oh, there's so many versions of the Tom Collins, which brings me to my first question of the episode. Oh, I asked my second one, but first one for both of you. When when was it invented? Well, Tom Collins had to be invented in the Roaring Twenties, so I'm going to say 1923. All right, good When they guess. were doing, like, the dancing with those big, like... The flapper dancing? Yeah, they're like... Flapper, 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 flapper. And they're flipping around with their fucking... Floppers. Yeah. Yeah, and Star Wars invented it, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe. 1970, whatever. So you're saying 1970? No, no. What's Tom your guess? 1924 or something? All right. Uh, 1880s. I was closer by one year. <laughs> I said 1923. Oh, did you? I thought you said 20s. I wasn't listening again. So, the earliest publication of Tom Collins in like a bartender's book. Now, it's a bit, they're arguing it a little bit, but 1880s. One says like 1882, the other will go with even 1887. Um, 
But my next question is, what is the difference between a Tom Collins and a John Collins? Um, I think, I think, um, I don't know. Yeah, like, I went down, to, this is... Is this, one a different booze? Are they both gin? So they're both gin. So they're both made with um, gin, lemon juice, sugar, and carbonated water, plus, like, I think there's some, Denny was mentioning some accoutrement, some uh, garnishes. But they're basically the same, but the Tom Collins was made from a gin called Old Tom. So it's like a type of gin, which is like Heyman's. And John, and John uses different types of gin. But we're doing the Tom Collins, but is it the John Collins? I don't know, because we're not using Old Tom for this one, right? Um, the other thing is some say that John Collins was like the person who created it, like technically or whatever. Was is he a st- historical figure? Tom Collins? They're, well, they're saying that it was a head waiter named John, which is why it, like, there's different stories about the Tom Collins. That's the thing. And actually, if you go to Wikipedia, it's called like Collins types of drinks. Collins. Yeah. So in mixology, some say that John Collins, it was created by a head waiter named John. But then because they were using old Tom, it flipped over to Tom Collins instead. That's like, that's what some are saying. I think Tom Collins sounds better. I like Tom Collins better too. But did you know, I think we might've talked about this, like in the olden days when we used to get really drunk. Um, there was Nobody a, remembers. There was a hoax in 1874. A hoax? A hoax. Related to the Tom Collins. Why? Do you want to know what the hoax is? How? What's the hoax? So essentially in the States, primarily in New York, um, people, others would tell people. Well, I, I think of New York when I think of a Tom Collins. It's so a do I. New York drink. Manhattan and, might be maybe a little more. And but. it was actually a significant hoax. Even journalists got involved and, and like sort of people like that. And essentially they would tell people, you know, I heard someone talking about you behind your back. Like, I heard someone saying some stuff about you. And they're like, oh, who was talking about me? Tom, Tom Collins. Collins. And I'd be in a bar, so people would go looking for Tom Collins in the bar. You did and get tell the drink. this uh, yeah. whenever we did it. We must have done Tom Collins. Or gin. No, it was a, bit, it was a gin fact. Maybe we did do Tom Collins. Well, I, remember I don't remember. The, I remember this. Um, All right, well. Well, that's a good marketing uh, ploy. It's an excellent marketing ploy. Hey, where's Tom, Tom Collins? Why are you coming And then they make him. Give us a shilling. shilling. I'll make you one. <laughs> what they, what a what? Money, a shilling. A sh- what was money back then? I think it was just money. Yeah, yeah but they shilling. Pence, yeah. Was it a pence here in 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 the U.S. of A. which we're not in, like well, in North what, America? Did they give them a just a gold coin? <laughs> no, it'd be like a copper shilling or something. A a shilling, copper yeah, shilling, shilling, maybe. Let us know in the comments what they called money in the 1800s. I'm guessing shilling or pence. Or gold coin. Whenever you say Pence, I'm just thinking like Mike Pence when Mike you say Pence. that. Yeah, yeah. So, Danny, you got it all mixed up pretty quick there, huh? Nice. How many alcoholic shots are in this? Yeah, that's we need just to two. know. Two okay. each? Okay, all right. And then there's uh, it looks lots of garnishes. So, what are the garnishes? So, it's cherry. It's supposed to be a cocktail cherry, but, you know. What are these? What are these? Like a maraschino cherry. Oh, I don't know. The t- I, yeah, it's a maraschino. Okay. Marchino. So this Martino? is what goes on top of cookies. It should be good in a drink. Yep. And then, like, I think orange slice, maybe? Orange round. Oh, pardon me, moi. <laughs> orange <laughs> half round. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, he's finishing that up. I think I have, like, another question. What country drinks the most gin? Oh, well, it's got to be England, No. Is it per capita or just as the most? I don't probably know. forget. It's probably USA. Yeah, if it's if it's per capita, London, England. I mean, uh, or USA. If it's I think just... it is per capita because it's got a percentage, or, or well, a percentage of the gin they they take, they they consume. All right. Well, what is the answer? Philippines. Oh, really? Yeah. They drink forty three percent. Of the gin consumption. That's fucking insane. I was surprised. Do I squeeze this stuff in here? Oh yeah, is it squeeze? I don't know the rules to it, but it's just to make it look pretty. <laughs> all right, cheers, cheers, Nick. I like to have all my fruit in the hole. You're supposed to just flop it on the side of your mouth, on the side of your face when you drink it. <laughs> to Tom Collins. Tom you're, Collins, stop talking about man. me, you motherfucker. Can you get that? Make sure that mic's close to you when you're trying. Um. All right. Well, let's give this right. a sippy. Let's give it a smell. I want a cucumber in this one. No, so it's going to be a different flavor it's palette. Definitely got some uh, citrusy citrus to it. 
Yeah, you can taste that lemon. Yeah. That's refreshing. Wow. It's more of a refreshing drink. That's very refreshing. It's very, like, there's a neutrality to it. Yeah, like, neutral, like, clean citrus and just fresh. And I, again, don't Mm. taste a lot of fucking gin. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's a bigger glass. I mean, the last one yeah. we could taste the gin. It was half the size of the glass. Had the same amount of alcohol in it. Mm. But these are these are pretty dangerous because if you had a straw in this, which traditionally you probably would, man, you'd slurp that down like a <laughs> fucking whore. Down like a motherfucker. Mm. Oh, here, give it a little stir. I might not have stirred it up. I pushed my fruit to the bottom. You fruited it. You fruit the bottom. Oh, it's a nice. I like the dryness to it actually. Yeah, that's that's a rare thing for us to say. Well, maybe that's better um, because... with the citrus. Yes, yes. But it's still, you get some sweetness from it. Like, is there simple syrup in this or something? Okay, I thought so. But it's it's not overpowering. It's just one ounce. It's not overpowering. Or half an ounce, simple syrup. I just muddled my fruit. Muddle, muddle, muddle. Muddle, muddle, muddle. You you muddle. Muddle, Mm. muddle, muddle. Yeah, I mean, that's a fucking... That's a... That's a summer... That's a spring drink right there. I, I... I mean, I'm mm. shocked. I like oh, this awesome. better. You go from winter uh, where you're drinking stouts, you're like, now I need something a little cleaner, a little more refreshing. Well, you slap down a fucking Tom Collins or two, and you're fucking skipping down the fucking road real quick. Oh, and think about how important you'll look if you ordered one at the bar. Yes. Fuck yeah, you would. Especially Please. if you just sat down after a long day at work, you're all dirty and shit. Would you like a beer? No, give me a Tom Collins. Yeah, I'd like a Tom Collins. Tom Collins, please. Yeah, you'd have to do a. Okay, you know, I'd like English accent. I'd like it. Well, I wasn't doing English. Can you put it into a into a funnel? (laughs) Yeah, I'd like a funnel of Tom Collins, please. I like this better than like a vodka soda. You know what I mean? Like, I actually like this better. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm definitely a three eight on that. Okay. Oh. Which is surprising, because the last one was really good. I don't know if everybody's going to go higher, but I don't know. Denny, what do you think? It's a little lower okay. than, the, uh, than the cleanse. Uh, the springtime sipper was good. It's higher than the pink. The 3.6. All right. Another good score. Um, yeah, I mean, the last drink was amazing, but I, I mean, I just think this is a little more elevated. palatable. I feel well, like, like the non-sweet, too. Yeah, there's no sweetness to this. Yeah, there's I mean, this a little. Good, there's a slight. I, I like it because I like sweet drinks, but this has got a slight sweetness. It's clean. I could drink. I could make a day of this. It's That's definitely like, a glass of canker, yeah. but w- my first one is fine. A glass of canker. <laughs> it's been a while since we've heard that. Yeah, that it's, got some, it's got some canker to it. It's got oh, a wait, I forgot an ingredient. Scotch. <laughs> one ounce of scotch. Oh, put no, some scotch in it. There's no scotch. Can I have some scotch? You got scotch? That'd be so gross. Ugh. Me and Brucey want some scotch. Right, Brucey? Scotch, I, I like have no scotch it. here. I just have dirty scotch at home. Um, <laughs> I'm a- we do have scotch here. We have that fucking scotch that Sean brought over that made us dizzy. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. You sure it was scotch? I don't know. What the fuck did he put in that fucking shit? Arsenic. <laughs> Ooh, God. It was, it's, it's, I don't like it. it Which is, you feel like there was arsenic in it. I, I drank bottles of that cheap scotch I liked. Uh, this stuff was no good. What was it? Grants. I forget what it's called, this one, but it's, I don't know. I think we got it for him for Christmas, actually. <laughs> um, he got you back. Did you score ranch? I was about to, but you were talking about the gross scotch. Mm-hmm. So, we, what is it? I'm a four. Oh wow! Like I, I would drink this like on a, on the regular. I like Tom it. Tom Collins, huh? I I'm surprised. I like Tom Collins. I don't know. It sounds like a like some esoteric like strange brew that I wouldn't like. Would be bitter or so sour. It's such yeah, old... I thought it would be sour or bitter like you. Like me, bitter and sour on a good day. Um, so delicious. Yeah, I'm Fuck a Tom it. I'm a four. I'm Jesus. Like... And it's another it's another gin drink that you barely taste the gin. Next time I, I can't see, believe it. Next time I see Matt at that dirty fucking bar we go and see him at, I'm going to ask for a Tom Collins. Next week. Collins. Oh, that's such a good idea. I see am too. See if they know how to make it. It'd be interesting. It will be. Well, I think the scores are in, and I think we know who the winner is, but what did, uh, what did Spring Cleanse get? So Spring Cleanse got an 11, which was super high. Tom Collins is... Bank or clocking in at eleven point five. Ooh, only a point five still though. That's close. So, well, then he went a little lower. You went a little higher, and I went higher. Whoa! Welcome to the Dirty Glass Podcast Winter Proclamation. 
It's another close one this week with the spring cleanse clocking it at 11 between the three of us. The Tom Collins 11.5 under a half a point. Very close. Both great drinks. Good job, Denny, on the mix. Very good job, Denny. But I will say the winner is Tom Collins for this week. Winner! Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, give us your comments. What do you think of the Tom Collins? I mean, it's been around forever. Like, do you like it? Do you have a variation on it? Let us know. Thank you for watching. Danny? Oh, it's way better than it sounds. The name yeah. of it sounds like it's going to taste like shit. Right? Yeah. Like, the, like You've heard of it an old-fashioned or yeah. something. I don't know, which I've never tried. So old-fashioned's good, too. Me and Corey had an old-fashioned at that fucking one bar in, or the in restaurant in Vegas. Was it good? had, like, three drinks for nine. It's just, it's like three liquors. <laughs> It's just a glass of liquor. Uh, we we had two sips and just threw it in the garbage. It was just that's pure, what I thought this would taste like. Fucking, and that's what I kind of thought. I didn't know. And what this, this is was. glorious. That's good. Fuck. Good, make sure good you, pick. Make sure you tune in next week yeah. so you can figure out the next two, and then we'll figure out who the winner of April Gin Spring Loveliness drinks. Thanks for watching. Bye.